Welcome to Breakfast with Tiffany. Today we're here with Josiah from Appster. Hey. Josiah, you're really young. How old are you exactly? I just turned 23. How old's your co-founder, Mark? He's 22. Cool. So how did you guys meet? He was 12 and I was 13 at the time and we met online though. It wasn't eHarmony. <laughs> uh, it was actually an online marketing forum because we used to sort of sell products online and we started the company when we were about 18 and 19. and. Yeah, three years later, we're 100 staff over three countries, San Francisco, India, and Melbourne. So what exactly does Appster do? We are basically like a technical co-founder. We work with entrepreneurs on app, app ideas. So someone comes to us with an idea and we help them you know, make it a reality. How did you fund your startup? Uh, we had like some online hustles and we had raised a little bit of money there and threw it right into the company. How have you funded it since? Well, we'd, we've, we're sort of bootstrapped from day one. We haven't taken any outside funding. We just Basically, any money we earned in the company, we just threw it right back into the company. How have your clients responded when they're dealing with you? Initially, they'd be skeptical, but once they heard us talk, people would just go, wow, they know what they're doing. So in the three years that you've been in business, have you learned? Mark and I have always been obsessed with getting the right people around us. We just hired a CFO in India. Two advisors we have on the board, we have uh, David Juck, who was the founding CFO of PayPal, and we have uh, Liz Savage, who was the old our Chief Commercial Officer at Virgin Australia. What do you think Australian businesses need to do more of? I think, you know, really focusing on, you know, driving innovation. How have you done it in Appster? We're really obsessed with feedback, constantly trying to figure out, you know, what customers are doing, what customers might want. Mm -hmm. And we also really listen a lot to our internal staff too and figure out how can we build a better culture. Why are you guys still in Australia and not Silicon Valley? Australia for us has been in a really, a really amazing launching pattern. We still have such a strong foundation here. What's next for Appster? Uh, we have a 42 country rollout plan over the next three years and we're hoping to hit 100 million in revenue by the end of 2016. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. You guys are going to dominate the world.